Eerie Shadows, Haunting Tale of the Forgotten Manor. In the heart of the moonlit woods, a forgotten manor stands. As the wind whispers through the trees, chilling shadows dance upon its decaying walls. Rumors of its dark past have spread far and wide, drawing curiosity seekers like moths to a flame. A group of friends embarks on a daredevil, adventure to spend the night within its walls, eager to prove their courage. They enter the mansion armed with flashlights and bravado. But as the clock strikes midnight, unsettling events unfold. Whispers echo through the corridors, and eerie figures seem to materialize in the corners of their vision. The group's camaraderie turns to panic, as they become trapped in a nightmare of their own making. Doors slam shut, lights flicker, and chilling laughter pierces the air. As the night wears on, the friends begin to vanish one by one, leaving only a trail of blood-curdling screams. Desperation grips those who remain, as they uncover old diaries, revealing the mansion's historia tale of betrayal, tragedy, and a malevolent spirit seeking vengeance. With each passing moment, the spectral presence grows stronger, its malevolence consuming the manor and those within. Heart-pounding fear turns to abject terror, as the survivors realize that the only way to escape is to confront the vengeful spirit head-on. In a climactic struggle between the living and the dead, the friends unearth the truth and attempt to lay the spirit's tormented soul to rest in a final, bone-chilling confrontation. The line between the living and the dead blurs, and the manor becomes a battleground of horror. As dawn breaks, a hushed stillness settles over the manor. Only one of the friends emerges, haunted by the horrors witnessed within. The manor stands silent once again, its secrets buried within its decaying walls, waiting for the next group of foolish souls to stumble upon its sinister past. As the survivor stumbles out of the manor, their ragged breath mingles with the morning mist. The sun's rays stretch tentatively over the horizon, casting an eerie glow on the forsaken building. The survivor's haunted gaze lingers on the manor's entrance, now ominously ajar. Despite their desperate escape, the survivor is not free from. The clutches of the manor's malevolent legacy, whispers continue to haunt their dreams, and faint echoes of. The chilling laughter follow them wherever they go. They can't shake the feeling that the spirit's grip on them is far from. Days turn into restless nights, as the survivor becomes consumed by an insatiable curiosity about the spirit's past. They scour libraries, dusty archives, and old newspapers, determined to unravel the truth behind the manor's dark history. The more they uncover, the deeper they're drawn into a web of deceit, betrayal, and unresolved vengeance. Their obsession with the manor grows, much to the concern of their friends and family, who see the toll it's taking on their mental and physical well-being. Yet, the survivor remains relentless, convinced that the key to breaking the spirit's hold lies in understanding its past. As they dig deeper, they unearth a name, a name that was conspicuously absent from all records. This discovery leads them to an enigmatic figure, an elderly recluse who seems to possess the answers they seek with a trembling heart. The survivor ventures into the recluse's dilapidated cottage. The recluse's cryptic tales reveal a connection that goes beyond the survivor's wildest imaginings. They learn of a cursed amulet, a family feud, and a tragic love story that binds them to the malevolent spirit. With each revelation, the survivor becomes entangled in a race against time to break the curse before it engulfs them completely. As they edge closer to the truth, strange occurrences intensify around them, shadows lengthen inexplicably, objects move on their own, and the whispering becomes louder, more insistent. The survivor's determination wavers, but their resolve remains unshaken freedom from the spirit's grasp, is now intertwined with their own survival. With the threads of the story converging toward an unknown climax, the survivor stands on the precipice of a decision, 
that could either save them or seal their fate. The lines between reality and the supernatural blur, as they must navigate treacherous terrain not just within the manor, but within themselves. As the survivor takes a hesitant step back towards the manor, the narrative hangs suspended at a tantalizing blend of questions, anticipation, and fear. The path ahead is uncertain, and the boundaries between their quest for answers, and the chilling grip of the spirit remains shrouded in darkness.